everyone, a very warm welcome to the session. This is Shweta Roy, your English master teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to do a beautiful poem and a poem which is going to be very, very, very relevant in today's context in the contemporary era and that is by one of my favorite authors or poets rather that is uh, of course Robert Browning. Okay guys and the name of the poem that we are going to do today we are going to just cover the first three stanzas it's a long poem containing six stanzas and a little complicated language so what we are going to cover today is the first half of the poem that is the first three stanzas right. So those of you who do not know me guys, I am your English master teacher, I am Shweta Roy. I have pursued my masters in English and uh, you know I have devoted my entire career towards teaching. I was really really passionate about teaching and I really uh, you know it, the, the fact really fascinates me how a teacher touches millions of lives right guys and that is my passion and that is my motto as well to you know touch each one of you and unleash the power within you people. So in my sessions, guys, you all must feel empowered. That's what I tell you in every session. So do put it in the chat box, guys, before starting off with the session. Do you guys feel empowered? Because literature and language, that is going to only and only, the, I mean, only and only literature and language is going to acknowledge your opinions, right? Whatever you have to say. Okay, so yes, that is giving you that power and the latent power is within each one of you, the latent power of creativity. So guys, do put down in the chat box if you feel empowered, right? Okay, so guys, we'll begin with word of the day as we always do, yes. Now today's word has been suggested by Rohan Ramesh. A big round of applause for Rohan Ramesh and the word of the day is Vehement. What does it mean? It means showing strong feeling, okay, passionate or intense. And this is an adjective. Now his uh, he has used this word beautifully, saying her voice was low but vehement. That means it showed strong passion. It was forceful, although it was low. So guys, now it's your turn to post the word of the day in the comment section. After the end of the, at the end of the session, by the end of the session, please do post your comments and also don't forget to use this particular word, okay, in your own way, in a sentence. Would you do that, guys? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good job, good job. So, before starting off, if you enjoyed, do hit the like button, do share the video amongst your friends and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed, guys, okay, so that you get all the notifications. Now, we'll begin with the rapid fire round from the previous session that is daffodils. So I hope you have gone through the previous session all of you. Did you all go through? Give me a quick high five. Okay so the first question on your screen guys. What is bliss of solitude? Very important question. The everlasting memories of the daffodils, the everlasting memories of the wandering clouds or both A and B? Come on people very easy and very very important question. Have you all put down your answers in the chat box? Are we ready to check the answer? So, three, two, one. Let's have a look. Yes, congratulations. Those of you who got it correct, I'm sure most of you got it correct. Good job. Next question. Prepared? Ready? Have a look, guys. Who said poetry is spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings? Phoebe Shelley, Samuel Taylor, Samuel Taylor Goldrich, or William Wordsworth. Come on, people. Ready? Yes? Have you all put down your answers? Can we check? 3, 2, 1. Let's have a look. Yes! None other than William Wordsworth, the poet of the poem Daffodils. And he also said, uh, you know, I told you that his statement was very contradictory. In the same, uh, you know, same sentence, he also said poetry as, uh, as, you know, emotions recollected in tranquility. Right. So on one hand, he's saying it's the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings. That means it comes out spontaneously. But on the other hand, he's also saying that it is emotions recollected in tranquility. That means when you are in a tranquil or peaceful mood, you recollect all your emotions just as the poet has done in this particular poem. Right. So it's quite contradictory, but that's the beauty of his statement. Right, guys. 
Okay, so before starting off with today's session, I have an interesting riddle for you people. What gets wetter the more it dries? Any idea? You riddle me this. Okay, so think about the answer. We'll have a discussion at the end of the answer, uh, at the end of the session. So please stay tuned. Okay? Right, guys. So now we'll talk a little bit about Robert Browning. Now, do you know, guys, Robert Browning was very, very famous. He was a Victorian poet, of course. He was very famous for his dramatic monologue. Now, what is a dramatic monologue? Any idea? Okay. So a dramatic monologue, as the name itself suggests, it contains monologue. That is just a single speaker. So the poet is going to address to an absent audience. Right? And this dramatic monologue gives insight, a deep insight to the character of the poem, whoever is speaking. Okay, so the character, we can read the mind of the character, right? So that is very, very important in character analysis. His famous dramatic monologue, guys, My Last Duchess, it's a beautiful written, beautifully written poem. Okay, and uh, of course, his verse uh, is noted for its irony, its social commentary, characterization, of course, very important because dramatic monologue, yes, historical setting and also challenging vocabulary and syntax. Okay, so guys, now today we are going to start with the poem, The Patriot, and we're going to deal with the line by line analysis of the first three stanzas, vocab. Poetic devices, we are going to wrap it up with the homework question. Okay? Now, let me give you a short introduction to this particular poem. It's a dramatic monologue, again, The Patriot. And the name itself suggests that it's, you know, it's, uh, of course, related to, of course, that one of the theme would be patriotism. Yes, yes. Right? So, it, it, it deals with patriotism. It deals with religious faith and the harsh realities of the of, of leaders right who are true to the sense of patriotism and it also sacri uh, you know speaks about the sacrifice and misunderstandings the rise and the fall of leaders that is something which is very 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 noteworthy and his dramatic monologues are really very famous uh, in the victorian era all right and it is titled as subtitled as an old story, right? So definitely that would remind you of something. When you read through the poem, uh, it would be reminding you of another similar story. Do let me know at the end of the session in the comment section, which story could you relate to when you read the entire poem? So today maybe you would not be able to relate. But yes, after completing the poem, I'm sure you're going to re relate this to an old story. So do let me know after that. Now we would be beginning with the line by line analysis of the poem, guys. So let us first read the very first stanza. Okay. It was roses and roses all the way with mitle mixed in my part like mad. The house roof seemed to heave and sway. The church's fires flamed. Such flags they had a year ago on this very day. Very, very important. This is talking about, this is, you know, uh, it's a flashback. It's talking about a year ago, right? So what happened a year ago? First, let us check the vocabulary. Very important. Uh, Michael is an evergreen shrub, okay? Heaving is sound. Swaying is, of course, moving back and forth, swinging. Spires is an important word for you people. It, 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 it means a tall tower that forms the superstructure. You know, usually a church temple that tapers to a point at the top. So here, this is how it looks like, right? So uh, it tapers. This is how the, you know, uh, building of a church or a temple looks like, right? So tapers to a point at the top. Okay, so this is the structure, right? That is spire. All right. Now, first of all, guys, do let me know the answer to this particular question. Who is the speaker of the poem? The author, the patriot, the common man, none of the above. Very simple question. Please put down your answers in the chat. Can we look at the answer? Have you all given your answers? Okay, three, two, one. Let's check. Yes, guys. Very, very, very good. Well done. The patriot is the answer. Now, let us move ahead with the explanation. And the Patriot says, as I, as I told you, it is talking about a year ago, right? 
on this very day what happened was there were roses all his way and you know people were welcoming him so he was hailed as a hero okay so the patriot was welcomed by roses welcomed with roses they were strewn on his path okay just like you know uh, a, a red carpet entry what you call today right so that was like a red carpet entry for the hero or for the patriot not only the roses but white fragrant mitel they were also spread across his way so of course it, it was a grand welcome and the people of the city were so excited to see that they were um, madly spreading these beautiful fragrant flowers so yes mitel a uh, strewn and you know madness frenzy of people why because they wanted to have a glance of the hero okay of of the patriot right in order to celebrate his victory and he was hailed as a hero and there were so many people there were so many people not so much so many people on the house roof that it seems that they are moving like oscillator because of overweight so heaving and swaying very very important point guys for your explanation of that heaving and swaying because that comes in your paper right even the spires the top of the church seemed to be burning as they were laden with flags now why were they laden with flags to celebrate the victory of the patriot okay i hope you you understood each and every line because these are the important lines which comes in your paper moving ahead with the poetic devices so first of all anaphora roses and roses of course repetition so uh, i hope you have seen the poetic devices wala video which i have already posted where i have explained the most commonly used poetic devices if you have missed that guys please have a look i have explained anaphora at length okay now simile yes comparison of course using of like okay and uh, it's a hyperbole as well because this is an exaggeration okay mitel mixed and of course alliteration mitel mixed alliteration is also there right needless to mention that okay so hyperbole uh, mitel mixed madness okay hyperbole is it's an exaggeration right and then we have metaphor over here churches spires flamed right so uh, they 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 were uh, such flags they had so that means they were almost like they were burning so again a comparison hai na but the comparison is implied or implicit that's what a metaphor is personification the house roof seemed to heave and sway so how can someone move okay so of course uh, this is an attribution of human quality right so that is what it is so these are the poetic devices are you all clear with all of that Give me a quick thumbs up if you are absolutely clear with this. With that, we would be entering into our question. What happened a year ago? He was hailed as a hero for his glorious victory. He was kidnapped by the king's guards. He was crowned as the king on none of the above. Come on, people! Give me a quick answer in the chat box. Can we have a look at three, two? one let's see yes he was hailed as a hero for his glorious victory good job good job good job so guys before moving further let me ask you one very simple question how many of you are facing a lot of issues when it comes to your education because the pandemic on and the entire process of education going haywire i'm sure most of you must be facing a lot of problems right and most of you must also you know most of you must be dreaming or aspiring to get wonderful wonderful you know to come out with flying colors right 100% knowledge and 100% marks when i was at your age even i did that right so guys what if you get that promise of improvement wouldn't it be fascinating guys and wouldn't it And, and and isn't it uh you know of much need right now i think so guys so we have come up with the perfect solution it's going to solve all your doubts all your queries give you the confidence and take a guarantee of your improvement vedant to improvement promise is that step that we have taken you want to
to know how can we do that? Okay, so stay back guys. I'll be talking about that as well. Now, we would be moving ahead with the second stanza. Let us read together guys. The air broke into a mist with bells. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. Had I said, good folk, mere noise rebels, but give me your son from yonder skies. They had answered, and afterward, what else? Interesting, interesting. Vocabulary, rock here is shepherd, and yonder is some distance. This is an archaic word. Archaic is, this is no longer used, it's an obsolete word. Okay, Old word, right? Now, the air broke into a mist with bells, meaning... The sound of the bells which were ringing in the honor of his victory. Very, very important because you could be asked this question, right? What does this mean? So, it means that the sound of the bells were ringing, okay, uh, at, in the honor of his victory, right? And the cries of the joy were so loud that they shook the walls of the houses. So, people were absolutely in a frenzied state just to have a glance of the hero. They were so happy that if the patriot could have asked him, the son, they would have replied, what else? Okay. So, they were willing to do whatever the patriot would have said. Okay. So, that was the scenario one year before. Imagery, the air broke into a mist with bells. We can almost visualize, okay? And then we have hyperbole, but give me your sun from yonder skies. Of course, this is a hyperbole and this is an exaggeration, right guys? Okay, so I was talking about Vedanta Improvement Promise and I talked about the major problems that you face. Most of you have answered about Doubts, yes. Question and answers or maybe assignments, notes, then papers, test papers, analysis. These are the problems that you usually face. So each problem has been taken care in our Vedanta. How? Because we have unlimited live classes with fun and high level quiz questions. You can participate in quiz questions in each session no more waiting for menti session for quiz question okay that to live of course live quiz you can participate uh, you can compete with the students throughout the world you have interactive replays so replays are also not going to be boring at all they are there also you can participate in the live quiz you have the leaderboard shown at the end which is going to show you your overall class rank and earn points and we have downloadable content with handwritten notes of the master teachers which you can of course download at the end plus we have quality tests and assignments and we have class teachers solving each and every doubt of yours plus we also have another doubt solving app that is also very very important we have micro courses unlimited micro courses and crash courses and now we have pro exclusive micro courses guys only and only for you people which is starting from 5th of july i have taken up um yeah poetic devices i've taken up grammar so these are pro exclusive micro courses which you can definitely definitely you know attend uh you know by 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 taking the subscription right pro subscription so that all of this at a very 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 less price what do you need to do you just need to visit the link and use the coupon code swre and pro okay okay that's going to give you a 10 percent discount mind you right okay so now we'll move ahead with the third stanza so what is the third stanza saying this is the last stanza for today okay let us see a luck it was i who leaped at the sun very important is leaped at the sun there is a myth over here it is referring to a myth Myth of Icarus, who flew too close to the sun and, you know, his wax wings melted. His wings were made of wax, okay. And uh, he was warned not to fly close, too close to the sun. But, of course, he's ambitious. That, that reveals his ambition, of course. And he flew too close to the sun and then he, he, he was dead, right. Because his wax, men, uh, wax wings melted. So, please note this, the Icarus myth. Okay, 
to give it my loving friends to keep not man could do have i left undone and you see my harvest what i reap this very day now a year is run okay first let us look at the vocabulary alak is an exclamation it is again archaic not is the digit zero and reap is cut or gather right so let us check what is the poet trying to say now the scene is shifting to one year later on the on that same day remember one year uh, ago what happened to the patriot he was hailed as a hero people were mad about him they were spreading myrtles and rolls uh, roses in his path the church spires were you know heaving right all the people were gathered uh, to just have a look so it, it was a vip treatment yes was you know like red carpet treatment hai na now what happened the patriot says alak in grief according to him he uh, he leaped at the sun to give it to his loving friends to keep which means of course uh, i told you about the i caris myth so he became maybe too ambitious right it was quite a difficult task which no one else could have done if he had left it undone right the idea of a leaping of leaping at the sun has been borrowed from the greek tale of icarus i have already told you the story right uh, icarus flied high and his wings were made of wax he was successful in flying up however when he when he flew because of course he started to have that feel that fun of flying when he started to fly with his wings made of wax for the very first time so he forgot about the warning which was given by his uh, his 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 father dadilus okay and then the wax starts to melt and finally his wings got detached he fell down and he died so one should never so what is the moral of this myth one should never do something beyond his limits or else it is going to lead to its downfall that is what happens in this poem as well the patriot also did something beyond his limit that led to his downfall okay so the patriot also repents for doing too much for his country and people that is what he talks about here and that is why he uh, compares himself to flying close to the sun that is the icarus myth having done too much okay he now repents over his struggle and then what happened next we will be checking that in the next stanza what about his downfall did he actually have a downfall what happened to him what happened to the patriot let us check that in the next session okay so for now guys the poetic devices here is of course allusion because what is an allusion when uh, the poet is talking about something which is very famous he's just making a passing reference of something which is very famous in history or myth right or culture so here of course it's talking about icarus myth hyperbole of course exaggeration and then we have metaphor as you see my harvest what i reap so it, there's a comparison okay so but the comparison is of course uh, you know implied not very not direct so that's a metaphor and now we have a question for you people that is what brought about the change in his life he was arrested for his misdeeds he was defeated by the enemy he was found spying for the enemy country or both the enemy very simple guys okay 3 2 1 let's have a look yes he was arrested for his misdeeds and and what exactly was his misdeeds that we have that is not very clear in the poem so the poem is yes the language is a bit tough and it is uh, it is having ambiguity so what about what misdeed did he have that's not very clear but yes of course uh, what he says is that you know he he flew too close he he became too ambitious and he did something which is beyond his limits and he was arrested for his misdeeds now guys i told you that i would be talking about the plan as well so we have three types of plan light classic and plus light is you know going to give you uh, sorry uh, yeah light is going to give you test series analysis notes everything that i discussed right all of the plans are going to give you all the three all the features that i discussed with you right micro courses pre micro courses notes uh, test series analysis 
okay and of course uh, you can compete with the students throughout the world right all of these are amazing teachers but in light guys uh, in classic in classic you will have you know a doubt solving class a special doubt solving app you will have in the plan of classic and in class pro uh, sorry plus you're going to have a personal mentor so these are the three types of plans plus you have unlimited micro courses as i told you i talked about my micro courses pro exclusive micro courses starting from 5th of july as well right so don't forget to visit the link and use the coupon code and with that guys we would check the answer for the riddle how many of you have already got the riddle's answer give me a quick high five in the chat most of you yes can you check can we check right ready ready 3 2 1 start it's a towel <laughs> very simple very very simple i'm sure most of you have already got it guys right so please note the vedantu pro subscription that starting dates tbsc icsc maharashtra board okay for grade 9th and for grade 10 have a look guys take a screenshot and don't forget to get yourselves enrolled you enroll guys just click on the link and don't forget to use the coupon code which is going to give you a complete 10% discount and with that this is your homework question don't forget to put down your thoughts on the homework question or your inputs in the homework question for the homework question in the comment section explain uh, explain with mitel mixed okay explain the line okay or explain the phrase rather Okay, with Michael mixed in my path like mad. Would you be able to do that, everyone? I'm sure I have already explained that. You can take the help of that slide. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you people enjoyed so far. And in the next session, we are going to complete this form, and then finally we'll have a complete one-shot analysis of this entire form. Right. So thank you guys don't forget to hit the like button share the video amongst your friends and if in case you've not subscribed guys do subscribe do hit the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any important notification till then take care bye bye everyone